I'm attempting to take down 10,000 calories worth of Mr. Beast chocolate bars in one sitting. Each bar clocks in at around 340 calories. That means that I'll have to eat 30 entire chocolate bars to reach 10,000 calories. I'll give you all the good news first. Mr. Beast is giving away a bunch of free stuff. Each chocolate bar has a unique code on it that can be entered onto feastables.com to win free stuff. And since I just bought $150 worth of his chocolate bars, I could win a Tesla, a gaming PC, electric bikes, and more. Now for the bad news. My taste buds are just barely recovering from the massive 12 pound chocolate peanut butter cake that I took on in last week's challenge. More bad news. Unfortunately, there's only three different flavors of his chocolate bars for me to eat in this challenge. So the flavor fatigue I'll be facing in this challenge is going to be rough. Everyone, it is time for some serious chocolate carnage. Now everyone, I get a little excited when I order my Mr. Beast chocolate bars because I have 36 bars on my table right now. I also have another box of 10. I don't know what I was thinking when I ordered all this. I just get really excited when I see chocolate. I also get really excited when I see prizes. Apparently when you unwrap a chocolate bar, you can get your code, go on a particular website, enter in that code, and you could potentially win a prize. Prizes you could win include Teslas, Sea-Doo's, Super 73 electric bikes, a lifetime supply of chocolate, cash, and Mr. Beast merch. So I could potentially win a Tesla. That would be really awesome because I've been driving the same car for the past 10 years. It would be a nice upgrade. So what I think I'm gonna do everyone for this challenge is I'm going to be attempting to eat 10,000 calories worth of chocolate bars and I'm gonna be taking the codes from the chocolate bars that I get down. I'll enter them on the website and I'm gonna find out if I win some prizes. Fingers crossed to win that Tesla. Without further ado, my friends, my family, it is time for the 10,000 calorie Mr. Beast chocolate bar challenge. Let's do this. So I have 10 of the almond chocolate flavor, I have 10 of the quinoa crunch chocolate flavor, and I have 10 of the original chocolate flavor. So I think I'm gonna divide these up into fives. And you guys know what you gotta do. Go ahead and give the video a like if you happen to poop today. Now, it's time to get things started. And before I get into this, I'm going to be letting you guys know which ones are worth it and which ones are not worth it. I gotta save all the wrappers too because the code is right there. All right, all right everybody, it's time to get this challenge started in three, two, one. Not bad. First bar is down. Honestly, everyone, I'm not a huge dark chocolate person, but it's actually not bad. All right, well, the first five are down. I'm gonna wait until I finish each flavor to give you guys my verdict as far as what's worth it and what's not worth it. Question, are you a share person or are you a devour person? Obviously you know which one I am. All right, everybody, well, like I said earlier, I'm not a huge fan of dark chocolate, but that chocolate bar was actually very tasty. I'm gonna say that that is 100,000% worth it. Now it's time for the next flavor. Quinoa crunch or original? I think I'm gonna do the original next. By the way, I have a very nice pile of wrappers that I'll be saving for all of my prizes that I'm gonna get after this. This is the original Mr. Beast chocolate bar. Everyone, I think the original is just a little bit too basic for me. I feel like there just needs to be an addition to this. One second. It had to happen. You know, I love you, Mr. Beast, but I feel like your original chocolate bar just needs a little bit of some some jazzing up. I thought the first flavor was good, but the original, we just need to throw some flavor in there. Just like that. All right, here we go. Everyone, that is gonna get a jobby. Oh. We are halfway through the challenge, everyone. I gotta say, it's actually good that this is like dark chocolate because if it was milk chocolate, the sweetness would be, it would, it would be, it would be hitting me pretty hard right now. Speaking of chocolate types, are you a milk chocolate person or are you a dark chocolate person? Comment down below. You could also be a white chocolate person, but I don't think white chocolate is actually considered chocolate. I might be wrong on that. But. Oh. 
Alrighty folks, so the second flavor is down. I just gotta be honest with you everyone, I'm gonna say that one's not worth it. Just because I'm more of a milk chocolate person, if you're a person that loves dark chocolate, you're gonna love that flavor. If you happen to get that flavor and you just don't like it, we'll throw some peanut butter on there. All right, it's gonna taste delicious. Now everyone, it's time for the final flavor. Now this flavor is the quinoa crunch chocolate flavor. Now I know that a lot of people are gonna watch this video and they're gonna wonder, okay, how does the Mr. Beast bar compare to your regular chocolate bar. Like if you went out and you bought a Hershey's bar, what would it taste like compared to this? So everyone, I'm gonna answer that question for you right now. Because I have a Hershey's bar. I also have a Lint bar, and I also have a Crunch bar. So we're gonna do a little comparison right now between Mr. Beast bars and regular chocolate bars. So first let's try out the Quinoa Crunch. Oh, that's cool, it kinda looks like a Crunch bar. I was not expecting that. Ooh, oh! That's good. Mm. Wow. All right, this flavor is amazing, but how will it compare to a Lint Bar? Lint Bar is good. Mr. Beast Bar is better. Right now, how will it compare to a Crunch Bar? Everyone, I'm kind of feeling the Mr. Beast Bar more. I don't know what it is. Well, uh, looks like we have a uh, few bars left. I need to call in some help right now from uh, my good friends, Lay's. These are actually the all new Lay's layers, specifically the sour cream flavor. I wish they would have made it salt and vinegar flavor in these because salt and vinegar is just the best. But... Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, I gotta eat chocolate. Folks, not a moment of truth. Is the Mr. Beast bar gonna be better than an original OG Hershey's bar? I'm sorry, Mr. Beast. Hershey's bar wins. I just gotta say, I better win a car. If you're trying to eat 30 of these bars. Mm. In fact, you know what? If you guys are watching up at this point of the video, just go ahead and comment car down below. Maybe Mr. Beast will see it. Just have to give me a Tesla. Darkness, my old friend. I come to talk to you again. Just like that, everybody. That's gonna be it for the challenge. I'm sorry, everyone. I I, I know I have one left, but man, I'm just feeling it right now. Just kidding. Come on, everyone. I got one chocolate bar left. I think I'm gonna let you guys down like that. Be sure to stick around to see what kind of sweet prizes I win. I'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories consumed right up there. Total macros will be up there as well. Obviously, I wasn't a huge fan of the original flavor, but that quinoa crunch flavor was the star of the show tonight. That flavor was absolutely legendary and it was 100,000% worth it. Now, everyone, it's time to see if I want some prizes. You're probably curious to see if I won any prizes. Well, everyone, unfortunately, the chocolate really did get to me. After I finished the challenge, I put all of the wrappers with all of the codes on them in the trash can. No! Just kidding. That would really suck. Anyways, let's see if I won any prizes. Ah, uh, it's funny. Okay. Daily code limit has been reached. <sighs> I 
I just want my Tesla. That's all I want. I just want a Tesla. Well, everyone, I have one final code left. Well, unfortunately, it looks like I didn't win a Tesla. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more food challenges, I'm going to go ahead and put another challenge right along the sidebar that I think you're going to enjoy, along with a food challenge playlist of mine that I think you're going to enjoy as well. If you're new around here and love food challenges, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to give the video a like, and I'll see you all in the next food challenge.